Hello, and welcome to the application delivery how-to series. My name is Trevor, and today we're gonna look at how to deploy modern load balancing in NSX data center for VLAN segments. A high level overview of the Avi and NSXT integration is pretty simple. In your Avi controller, you configure a cloud connector configuration to plug in to your NSXT API and vCenter APIs. This allows the Avi controller to automate the deployment and scaling of service engines into your desired NSX and vCenter environment. Let's take a look at that in the GUI right now. To configure an NSXT VLAN cloud in Avi controller, you simply go to infrastructure and then clouds, and you create a new NSXT cloud. I'll show you how I've configured mine right now. So you simply give it a name for the cloud connector, a name for the VMs. So the SEs are deployed with this VM name prefix for so you can follow a naming convention. And you just plug in the credentials for your NSX manager as well as your vCenter down below. Uh, I also need to define the management and the data networks for uh, my use case. So. Uh, I'm going to be defining a VLAN transport zone since this is highlighting how we can use uh, modern load balancing on VLAN networks and NSX. Uh, so that's how I have my cloud configured. Optionally, you may also specify IPAM and DNS profiles. I have that configured as well to automate the DNS record provisioning. But again, that is an optional setting if you have some outside process to provision DNS. All right, so once the cloud is configured, as long as you have all the prerequisites in place, you can begin provisioning VIPs. So I'm going to provision my first VLAN virtual service right now. Go to advanced and NSXT VLAN cloud, that cloud I was just showing you, and I'm gonna give it a name. All I have to do is go through and punch in a lot of the required fields. So I need to specify the network and the range that I wanna pull the, the VIP IP from. Optionally, I can adjust the, the normal kind of load balancing settings. I'm going to be referencing a pool that is a NS group in NSX. So my pool here, um, I'm actually referencing in NSX uh, this group, which is great because now if the IPs of the server change, um, you'll see that they'll be updated by Avi because they're tracking this group at NSX. I'll show you how we relate back to these IPs in the GUI here in just a sec. All right, so... I do need to drop in to my pool. And one thing that I need to do in the VLAN mode for today is I need to specify the placement network. I already have that defined for my pool. It's just saying which VLAN that the um, backend pool members are on in this config, okay? I'm gonna X, X out of my pool and then go through the rest of the wizard. Uh, there is one more area where I need to define placement. So that's right here for the VIP. I just need to define the placement network. Again, for me, it's that data VLAN in, in this example. And I'm gonna save. As soon as I click save, what's gonna happen is Avi is gonna reach out and see if it has any service engines available. Uh, if, if it does, it's gonna place the VIP right on the service engine. So it, as you can see, I had a service engine available, so it pops right online. If there was no service engine, it would automate the deployment of that service engine. All right, so this is online. I'm gonna show you in the dashboard that the back end pool members here, like I was showing you, actually relate to those IPs in that NS group in NSX. Um, so for now, what I'm gonna do is generate a little bit of traffic so I can show you some of the logging and analytics that we get when we use Avi as our load balancer. So I'm just gonna go to my web page and click refresh a few times. All right, so I've generated a little bit of traffic now what I can do is go into the logs of my virtual service. And I, I wanna highlight this because this is one of the key benefits of leveraging a modern load balancer on top of NSX, such as Avi. So I've generated some logs and now you can see all of those transactions that I was sending uh, to my web application, I can start to track here, all right? So even the, even the transactions that seem like they should be good traffic, right? Um, I'll, I'll begin logging those. And this, this allows engineers and administrators to debug applications in real time. So I can uh, look at the end-to-end -end path between the end user and the app. I can see all of the performance metrics and other data that might be interesting to me. And I can even go to the extent of 
um, opening up the HTTP headers, and looking inside to troubleshoot um, possibly some application side issue at, at L7, right? Or, or maybe a certificate issue or, or something like that within this interface. There are a lot of different analytics that we can dig further into. And this is the kind of visibility that really you're only going to get from a modern load balancing platform like Avi. Please check out the other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to series. Thanks for watching.